And today we are going to talk about some of the ML APIs that AWS offers. There was an awesome breakout session. Before we get started, let's do some introductions. Tell us who you are. So my name is John Rotenstein. I am a trainer at AWS where I help our customers learn all about AWS services. And he is a killer on Stack Overflow. <laughs> First question, probably John's answered it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And I'm uh, Dr. Payne. I run a solution for architecture team here in Australia and New Zealand. And uh, we're old friends because we actually had John on here last year doing some cool, awesome demos, and he's back again. Excellent. So John, I hear you did an awesome breakout where you took some of our ML APIs and join them together to turn words into pictures. Is that true? That's right. Um, so I, I read this science fiction novel one time, and it had two people conversing over a video chat. And as they were talking, it brought up pictures about the conversation. So if they mentioned a bird, it would show a bird. And I thought, these days, you know, we've got Star Trek on our computers. Why can't we do that? So that was my goal. Super cool. Can you, uh, can you show us a little bit about the architecture that you built, or um, sure. show us a demo as well? So. Uh, my whole goal is to turn words into pictures. Okay. And I do that, uh, the first service I want to use is Amazon Transcribe. And in fact, the best way to explain it is to record something. So I want to record so some So wait, text. wait, pause. Right? What is Amazon Transcribe for those listening yeah. that have never heard so, that uh, before? Good question. Amazon Transcribe will take a sound file or real-time sound uh, information and convert it to text. Brilliant. And Synthesizing uh, speech to text, audio to text. Yep. And that's what I want to do. And to prove that it's live, I would like to um, have a random food. And you want me to give you my favorite food? A random food. food. Yep. Pizza. Pizza. So or sushi. Also. Let's do. Uh, I eat eggs for breakfast. That's oh, we'll also a sushi. valid we'll food sushi you could then. use. Sushi. Okay. So, so you. So uh, you're gonna just go to Wikipedia. Wikipedia. And pull some text I'll about sushi. I'm a little program here, and what I'm gonna do is going to record me speaking. And uh, we'll see how this goes. You're going to say what's on Wikipedia about sushi. Um, I was going to until you interrupted cool. me okay, there. Okay, sorry, so. go for it. <laughs> uh, sushi is a Japanese dish of prepared vinegared rice, usually with some sugar and salt, accompanying a variety of ingredients such as seafood, vegetables, and occasionally tropical fruits. It varies widely in presentation. So I have recorded that into a file on my machine. Okay, now what? So to transcribe, I need to copy that up to S3. So I just uh, have a button there that copies it up to S3. Because transcribe's API service pulls from an S3 bucket. Correct. Awesome. So I have now sent it up to transcribe. Now, while it's doing that, I should explain a few things about transcribe. In fact, I've got a, a picture here to explain. So behind the scenes, what it's doing is it's saying, hey, here is something. Ah not going on the other screen. Pausing for technical difficulties. Oh, technical, you can't see what's on my screen. So guys, you can tell this is a live the stream. These things happen every now and again. Um, I so don't want to mirror this, but I want to show everything we'll on my set. screen. It's good. Um, you have it now? Technology um, isn't perfect. Yeah. Should we pull that out and plug it in? I used to have this joke that somebody told me many years ago that I never work with children, animals, or technology live on stage. So uh, we're breaking that golden rule. At least every one time. of the three. Yeah. You're always here when your boss asks you for a live demo, every single time. <laughs> or when you're about to give a live demo. <laughs> like, if the demo gods are not nice to you that day, this is what happens. Exactly. By the way, for those of you who are actually interacting with us, please ask us some questions. Uh, Fire away some questions for, for John, for us. Yeah, um, I feel like we dropped a lot of service names just now, so if ah. any of those are not familiar to you, please feel free to ask That's us right. to describe them. I want to change the res. Absolutely. And I'll just make this bigger. I so would like to point see. out that in order to build the demo that John has built for us today, you actually need no machine learning experience. If you're just a developer that knows how to work with an API, you're golden. You can build the same demo that he built for us. Exactly. Which is awesome. That's the power of APIs, right? You just point it at the, uh, get the SDK. I am not a machine service. learning developer. Yeah. Spend five I'm minutes reading docs, right now. and uh, you're off and running. Yep. Okay. Well, that was excellent coverage because while you were talking, it went and translated my speech into text. Sweet. Perfect. We see it did pretty good. Sushi is a Japanese dish. Off. It didn't get often prepared. It's my bad pronunciation in this noisy environment. So we can see that it's mostly got the correct text in there. It even so understood through your accent too. Through my yeah. accent, yes. The Aussie accent. The, yeah. Which I love. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. How are yeah. you going? Yeah. This is great. You guys, this is my first time in Australia. <laughs> I'm loving all of this. So, step one, I record an audio file. Step two, I send it to S3. Yeah. Step three, I ask Translate to turn it into words. I now want to turn them into pictures. The problem is, mm -hmm. I don't want to turn all of these words into pictures. There's too many words. So right. I had to find a service that would comprehend what I was trying to say. Nice. Can you think uh, of a service? I like a segue here. Oh, my God. Uh, comprehend? Comprehend, yes. indeed. So if we look at I my got little it. 
Look at my little flow diagram here. Uh, we have the text in the middle. We now want to extract the meaning by using Comprehend. Comprehend is another machine learning API that requires no machine learning skills to use, just oh, yeah. knowing how to use an API. And to give you a quick idea, here is our console for, API, uh, for um, Comprehend. We have a little sandbox. And it's got a little bit of text in there about Amazon. And I can just go in there and say analyze. And it comes back with things like entities. So it comes back with locations, organizations, dates, people. Cool. Uh, and hopefully names, by the way, I've got a name here, a call out to a chic piesk. Oh, yeah. So hello, thanks for watching, thanks for interacting, and uh, fire away some questions, because uh, we're getting into some interesting stuff here. There's a name, Jeff Bezos, I've heard of him. Oh yeah, he's a pretty reasonably <laughs> famous guy, um, right? Magnetron <laughs> asks, why does it have to be uploaded to S3 manually? Why can it not be ah. done automatically on the go? Excellent question, Magnetron. In fact, you can do it. There is real-time transcription available on Amazon Comprehend. A little bit more tricky, because you continuously send the audio and then continuously receive the text, but you can do that. Yep. You can even do two channels. So if you're having two people talking, one on the left side, one on the right, it can extract who said what. And that's actually quite interesting because uh, our really AWS cool. Connect service actually does recording with left and right audio, so you can do transcribe that's on that. That's how it pulls it out. Yes, Beautiful. very cool. So we can see here, Comprehend pulls out entities, key phrases, it can say what language you're speaking. Sentiment, so. that's my favorite yeah. part of Comprehend. Uh, so let, let's give it a go on the text that I had. So here is the text we had about the sushi. I can say, please send that to Comprehend. And Comprehend comes back with interesting information. It says, oh, sugar, tropical fruits, degree, a Japanese dish. They're it's the key detected words. key phrases from, yep. your, from your text. And then how do I turn it into pictures? Well, there's a nice service out there called Giffy.com. Or okay. Jiffy.com, however Jiffy. you want to Jiffy, Jiffy, Jiffy. Jiffy, Jiffy okay. right However you say it, potato, potato. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's an accent thing. Yeah. It, it's got an API, and I'm going to send these key phrases to that API and see and what it gets. And get some now, gifts back? I could be fired, depending on what animated gifts come up. So oh right. my god, this okay. is amazing. my last okay. day, thank you very much. Carol, nice knowing you, John. I love that you're risking your job on this. This is great. <laughs> Let's please, see what happens. Please Living show on the edge, I hit visualize. Guys. So for each of those terms, it's going off to Giphy, bringing up some gifts, and it's turning it into tropical fruits, sugar, Look, sushi. Look, sushi! Wow. Okay, awesome. That is box. so cool. <laughs> Oh, that oh. is awesome! And the, the soy sauce is in the iPhone oh, thing. That's very neat. nice. That's amazing. I never thought about using an iPhone yeah. case as a sushi dish, but, but it's kind of perfect. There's, There's more. more. There's more. There's more. Um, I thought I'd go a little bit further and use some of our other AI services like Translate. Awesome. Translate is another machine learning API. Again, no machine learning skills required. Or you can actually translate one language to another. Yeah. And we have a variety of languages available. Excellent. So uh, pick a language. How about um, Dutch? And That's I can unusual. say, please translate it for me. And sushi is in Japanese gerecht. I can't speak I, Dutch. I, I, I can't either. But there it is. Um, can somebody confirm if you're actually reading this? Yeah, you anybody, to can anybody Dutch? speak Dutch on the stream? Yeah. <laughs> or, or one that you might be able to read then is uh, maybe some... Eagles Fly 302, we are streaming live from the AWS Summit in Sydney, and he's giving a great demo of Look, ML APIs. Japanese, sushi. Oh Must my God, sushi that is in there so cool. So. so cool. Well, if you can't speak it... No. Maybe Polly can. Maybe she could. Maybe Polly can. Yes. Oh, Polly is, is my favorite one to mess with people and just get Polly to speak instead of, I'm just going to have Polly speak on my computer instead of me. Well, actually, the, the real fun bit is if I tell it to start with English, and we yeah. go back to our English translation here, I can have Nicole. Nicole is our uh, Australian, Australian accent. voice, which can read the text. My favorite one is Justin. Justin He's Bieber? the child, the, the, oh. the Justin voice. Okay. So Polly is our service that will synthesize text to speech. So it'll read the text and then create an audio file and then usually play it. Um, and we have several voices that you could play it in. Now, I can't hear her here on stage. Is she playing out there in the real world? Could you hear Polly on the... Uh... Many of these ML APIs are available on our so AWS free tier if you sign up. Prepared a vinegar rice. So oh, look, that is her. She's reading this. Sheet. Now, what I found is you can mix and match. You can take English and take a poly voice that doesn't normally speak English, like uh, Italian. Haha, <laughs> an Italian and, version. Uh, so if we look for an Italian speaker. Like an English speaker with an Italian accent? Yes. Or an so sushi is a Japanese dish of prepared. A that is so cool. Usually with sugar. A I actually don't know that. That would have been good for pizza. Yeah, we should have searched pizza. You've got to use your hands with that. Yep. So uh, let's, let's uh, round this off. We've got our Japanese. Let's see if we can uh, get the sushi in true Japanese style. Uh, Japanese text. 
and then I can get a I Japanese really wish speaker. I could read Japanese right now. Well, Polly will do it for you. Sushi wa tsujou satou to issho ni junbi ofu nihon ryori sumeshi desu. Joba no heido no kaisha wa seafood, yasai, toki. It's actually using Polly to help cool. you learn different languages. So uh, some things to point out as a flip through. Yeah, so how easy was this for yeah. you to actually build? Like awesome demo, but how much code does this involve me writing? Like, can I get started today? Code, code, code. You all ask about code. So, of course I want to know um, about code. I, I, I've uploaded my code. It's really bad code. I just grabbed some samples and threw it all together, but we'll give a link at the end of here so you can get it. That's fine. If it's working code, it's considered good code in my <laughs> That's opinion. That's right. So uh, to give an idea of TransLive, uh, you just go here and you say, hey, create me a transcription job. It's in English. And it's so in a dash au is the Australian English accent. So it has my accent, correct. And I just say uh, the, the file's in a bucket out there. I've then got some more code that says, hey, comprehend. And I call something and says, please detect my entities. Detect my key phrases. And it grabs the, the ones there. And translation is even easier. Here it just says, hey, translate some text nice. from English to this other language, and it's done. So he did this all in Python, but we have an SDK available in many different programming languages. So if Python is not your flavor of choice, you could do it in .NET, you could do it in Java, you could do it in Node, um, you could, I think you do it in Go, a bunch of, a bunch of different things. Yeah, go lots ahead. of different languages. Um, it's as simple as sometimes one line, just saying, translate the text, here's my text. That is very go simple. Go ahead and do nice. it. So how long did this take you, John? How long did this whole demo? Um, I just threw it together over the weekend. So that the hardest bit was actually figuring the out weekend. the Python you know, interface. Over the weekend, casually, because that's AW what he does on weekends. <laughs> the, the, the AWS bit was the easiest. It was trying to come up with the interface for a Python program and do that. That was the, the hard The UI part. was the hardest thing? Yeah. Wow, yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. How did you build that UI? I'm actually it's curious. It's using a uh, software tool called tkinter which is built into Python. So it's a multi... Is it a pip package? It's a, no, it's a built into oh, Python. Oh, it's built it's into just, Python. Um, so it, multi-platform UI that you can do up and Super graphics cool. and everything. Got it. Cool. So it's a wrapper in the uh, GTK library mm. in that case. So it yep. looks at things. Got it. And I'll, um, I'll leave this link so up here for a little bit. So that is where the code is, right? You can see my really bad code. OK. Really great code because it is functional working <laughs> code. As a reminder, I am going to post that link in the chat make it clickable for you guys. And also, if you happen to be walking by, you can actually take your badge and swipe on the back of the stand, and we'll actually make your code, the slides, and access to yeah. all of the other resources that we're going to be uh, uh, showing and demo demoing and showcasing for the next few days. Cool. The best way to reach John is going to be through Stack Overflow. Reminder, <laughs> he is uh, crazy on Stack Overflow. He's on there every day answering AWS questions. He's probably answered yours if you've asked one. It's great. Um, and. Uh, if you wanted to get started with machine learning APIs, I'm also going to post the link to um, the AWS site for machine learning, so you can click on any of our APIs. Awesome. Thank you so much for showing us this amazing My breakout pleasure. that you did. So if you didn't make it to the Sydney Summit, you saw an awesome breakout session from this morning. Thank you, John. Thank you, Pete. Great to be here. Thanks yep. again. We'll hopefully see you next year doing some more cool demos. Oh, yeah, I mean, what do you more weird we weird How can you top coding? that? I mean, well, what could you do uh, next? Later on, you'll see another demo put together with Sumerian. Uh, post-it notes on the table with a deep lens. You move around the post-it notes and move some animals in a Sumerian for animal Sumerian farm. is our AR VR service. So, uh, come over Definitely and worth checking out. Super cool. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. We'll be back with more content soon. Thank you guys so much. See you soon.